All right, we are continuing on our look back at 2020 where we're only looking at the positives. Oh, that's a dog. Okay, he was a big positive of 2020. He's the gift that just keeps on giving. Anyway, I have so much to talk about. It is the best of fashion 2020. And just like I did for beauty, I went through all of my monthly favorites, specifically the clothing and accessories sections and picked out my absolute favorites from my monthly favorites. So if I didn't mention it in monthly favorites, it's not going to be included here with the exception of one thing that I kept forgetting to add during monthly favorites. So this is my time to rectify it. All right, let's jump in. Let's start with clothing. Number one should be posted over here. This started off the loungewear obsession. Who would have thought that this would become what it was sort of the harbinger of loungewear to come. Uh, it is the Lou and Gray Signature Stop Series, specifically their sweatshirt and their joggers. I have to give homage to these because this was my first official loungewear set that went on to just multiply like crazy in my closet. I still absolutely love both of these pieces, but as I purchased more loungewear, I did find other, especially joggers, that I prefer, mostly because the Lou and Gray joggers, while they're incredibly soft and comfortable, I do wear them to lounge around the house. They don't have pockets on the back and they make my butt look big and flat. Well, my butt is big and flat, so I don't need anything to accentuate that. So <laughs> there are other joggers that I now prefer. Let's move on. All right, next was the, I call it the Amazon star sweater because I got it from Amazon and I have loved this for so well, so long, what a year. Okay, but I love this sweater. I still, I just wore it the other day. It comes in a ton of colors. It is an Amazon bestseller across Amazon as well. It runs very big, do not size up. It's big and it's cozy and it's lovely. Before I get too far into this, I will say, since I have a lot to run through, I will list the sizes that I wear them in down in the description box so that you can refer to it later. Okay, next is possibly the best denim jacket that I have ever worn. And while I bought it, I think the first one I bought full price, they are always having sales, so definitely be on the lookout. It is the Chico's denim jacket. Yes, I said it, Chico's. I know many of you think Chico's is for really old ladies with no sense of style. I'm gonna have to say that that is just not true. While I don't love everything in the store, I also don't love everything that Nordstrom offers, and that's one of my favorite stores. But if you're looking for incredible, well-built, so to speak, well-designed staples and, and then some, I'm telling you, Chico's is the place to go. Case in point, the denim jacket. I have very specific criteria that I was looking for in a denim jacket. I wanted pockets that I could easily slide, I'm doing it down here like you can see, but easily slide my hands into on the sides, not one that you have to go in from the top. Many jean jackets or denim jackets don't even have pockets. I wanted a denim that was soft. Many of them are really structured, really stiff, and it's hard to move around. So the Chico's denim jackets are soft, they have pockets, they are sized really well. You can get them in petite, you get them in regular, and they come in a variety of colors. So I now have three. I have a regular, like a medium wash, a white one, and like a soft black one. And I love all of them, and they are great layering. Next is the Gibson Notched Collar Blazer. I love this blazer. It's the first blazer I've really been drawn to and wanted to wear. It didn't feel stuffy in it. It would look great in a work setting for those of you who still have a traditional work setting. It's great for Zoom calls. I could even throw one over this sweater and I look a little more like office appropriate. I love wearing it over graphic tees. The sizing is a little weird. I have mine in a petite small because I wanted it a little more fitted, but honestly, I think I would have been happier in just my true Gibson extra small size. That's Basically the size I wear across the board and all Gibson is an extra small. Um, this I'm counting as a piece of clothing because I wear it so much. It could be an accessory. It's right here. It's the endless wireless bralette from Soma. I have an entire drawer full of them now. I just got another one in navy. I wear them. If I'm not wearing this one, I'm wearing the other one from Soma, the endless wireless bra, which is basically it's cousin, it's from the same endless line, but it actually has a clasp and this one doesn't. I don't know how we could have gotten through 2020 without these things. They give support, they hold me up, but they're so comfortable. A lot of people I know actually sleep in them. I guess we're sticking with Soma in this one. So the next favorites are both from Soma. First of all, the Sunday pants. Like I said, my love for joggers evolved and the Soma Sunday pants, they come in gray, they come in black. I think they come in maroon now as well. 
I initially got them in a size small. They do run a little big, so I sized down to an extra small. They are fabulous. They are so flattering. And honestly, they're one of a handful of kind of go-to road trip pants that I wear. We road trip a lot. We road trip basically every month. And these are outstanding. You can dress them up. You can wear boots with them or booties. I would wear booties. You can, you know, throw a cute top on top of them or you can keep it really cash, which is pretty much how I wear it most of the time. And then the other Soma favorites, this was the year well, this was kind of a cool thing. So I started out the year just being a huge fan of Soma. And then in June, Soma reached out to me and asked if I wanted to become an ambassador for them. So just, this was a really good year for me. And very pleased to represent a company that I have been a fan of and continue to be a fan of. Anyway, these Soma Cool Nights pajamas. I wear them year round, just in different forms. So right now it gets pretty cold, at least for me at night, into the 30s, sometimes the 20s. And I still wear the Cool Nights pajamas, just the long sleeve version, because even though I'm freezing cold, I wouldn't say I get hot flashes exactly, but I do wake up kind of sweaty sometimes. That might be because I have a 75 pound wine runner who uses me as his personal body pillow, but I do get hot at some point in the night and those cool nights pajamas are amazing. And then of course in the summer, I like the sleeveless options, the short sleeve options, the nightgowns. If you haven't tried cool nights pajamas, you are seriously missing out. They are incredible. Now this dress was definitely a standout for 2020 for me. I hope it's still available. It's from Amazon. It's their daily ritual. I think it's like a tank dress, sort of a drop way, sort of layered. Well, it was a tank dress. I don't know. You'll see. It's over there. I wore it constantly. I have two of them. I have one in gray and one in sort of an off blue, like a, like a muted blue shade. I would have bought more. They honestly kept selling out in my size. I hope this becomes a staple and Amazon keeps it fully stocked when we get closer to the warmer months because it is just fabulous. The only thing it doesn't have are pockets, but you know, you can't have everything. And the price point of this, the fit, how it made me look, perfect. Okay, we're sticking with Amazon for a little bit here. So, um, and there will be a separate Amazon, like top of the top favorites, but some of the clothing that stood out, the Amazon workout tank. It's, I basically wear one of two tanks. It's either this one or the one from Walmart. They're both the racerback style. They have a little mesh on the back. The Amazon price point is awesome and it comes in so many colors. Amazon and Walmart are my current go-tos for all things fitness. I may try to branch out a little bit in 2021. Maybe I'll try Old Navy. Maybe I'll try Athleta. Let me know in the comments below what you're interested in seeing me explore. Next, and I'm excited to tell you that they're kind of back. Big seller and huge favorite for me was the camo linen joggers from Nordstrom. I was cruising through the Nordstrom site, as I do frequently, and uh, I did see that the Castellan linen joggers are back. I didn't confirm that the camo print is here, but they are restocked. They're already selling them for 2021. I have them in three or four colors, and I'm telling you, if you don't like wearing shorts, that's me, then you gotta try these linen joggers. Next favorite, love these. I love that they come in so many options. They're the Levi's 721 high-waisted skinny jeans. I'm actually, you can't see it, but I'm actually wearing them right now. They come in different inseam lengths. They come in different finishes or washes. So from the light, like white, all the way to black and everything in between, distressed, not distressed, hemmed, not hemmed, there's something for everyone and the price point is incredible. If you try any kind of jean this year, give these a go. They're just outstanding and very important. Definitely have to size up. So I get the size six. I normally wear a size four in jeans, so I get them in the size six and they fit perfectly. This is a favorite of mine that I just felt, you know how sometimes you put on something and you just feel glamorous and special and extra? That, that was this dress, which last time I checked is actually still available on sale. It is a linen dress, a linen shirt dress from Chico's and it's so effortless and it's so easy to wear and it's timeless. This is a piece that is not going out of style. Shirt dresses will be around for a long time and white linen is always a must and I'm really looking forward to hopefully having a reason to wear this in 2021. Next are these camo leggings. Now, I love my Spanx leggings, but these are far less expensive. They do look more like workout leggings than like regular wear around town leggings, but I wear these interchangeably and I love that they have pockets on the side. If you like this style, like I do, 
I have them in solids as well, but I love jumping on the camo trend in leggings, and these leggings are so comfortable. They suck you in, not quite as much as Spanx, but plenty, and they're still really, really comfortable to wear. For somebody who lives in a southern climate, I can't believe this is one of my favorites, but I get cold so easily. Like right now, my fingers are cold, my nose is cold, it is 57 degrees outside. And no, I don't have circulation problems. I'm just, I'm just cold, I run a little cold. And one of my all time favorite purchases, I got it during the anniversary sale, was the North Face, I don't know the official name, but it's the long packable hooded parka. I wanted something that covered my butt, that was lightweight, but kept me warm. I did get to test it in the snow. I brought it with me when we went up to Colorado in September and surprisingly, we had like six or seven inches of snow while we were there, so I got to try it out. I was so warm in that, I actually took it off in the snow. It's incredible and it's like so thin and lightweight. Feels like you're wearing nothing, but you're warm. I love it, it's genius. Anyway, definitely a favorite. Now we're going back into some loungewear. I mean, if there was any outfit that epitomized 2020, it was some sort of loungewear set. And this set, it's technically still loungewear, I think a little elevated. It's the faux wrap top and the matching joggers, both from Gibson. I haven't checked this week, but I'm pretty sure my Gibson code still works. It's, I think it's, you know what, it's either Miss Gold Girl 20 or Marnie 20. I'll put it down in the description box. So please give it a try. Hopefully it'll work. It'll give you 20% off, I think site-wide. Um, but Gibson is another brand that was definitely a standout for me for 2020. I've been a fan of theirs for a long time and I've been getting more and more pieces in this last year. I like that while it's technically loungewear, it definitely looks a little more put together and I have worn each piece separately. I've worn that faux wrap top with a cardigan and a pair of jeans. I've worn the joggers with a different long sleeve top. They're mix and match, but I, there's just something about a set I just love. I'd say my standout favorite pair of joggers this year, but they, they go out of stock so frequently. So just keep checking if they're not currently in stock. It's an Amazon brand. It's the brand called May. And the May joggers are as soft and comfortable as the blue and gray ones that I talked about at the beginning of this video, except they have all the right pockets and all the right places. And I just love them. I did dress up a little bit this year and two of my standouts, first of all, I think this is actually still available. It's the Vince Camuto, I call it the dotted blouse. I think its official name is the Brist blouse. And I got it in this beautiful sort of parsley asparagus color, but it also came in red and in black. And it's a casual top, I felt really dressed up wearing it as compared to the sweatshirts I've been living in all year, but I got a lot of feedback from many of you that you enjoy it as well. It's just a pretty top, it looks great with jeans, it looks great with pants, I think. I haven't worn pants, like, like slacks in a very long time. But it's a really nice, easy blouse to wear as we're transitioning out of sweatshirts. And then the other one felt like wearing pajamas. I wore it to sort of dress up for Thanksgiving. It was also from Amazon, it was this baby doll long kind of tunic and I think the standout part was this beautiful rust color that I purchased it in. It feels like a silk shantung fabric. It is not. It's, you know, it's Amazon. It's, I'm sure it's polyester or something like that, but it washed well. It wore well. I felt really pretty in it and what more can you ask for? Another Gibson piece. I know that I'm going all over the place, but when I put together my list, I went month by month through my favorites. So we're moving through the year. I think we're into November, December at this point. Another piece from Gibson, it was the cowl neck fleece top. It was actually a collaboration that my friend Tash, Nashville Tash did with Gibson. I got it in the oatmeal color. I love wearing this top. I wear it too often, like an embarrassing, like there are like many days in a row I will wear it. I will wear it with jeans. I will wear it with joggers. I have slept in it. It's just, it does everything. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. It's super lightweight, but it's very warm. It just, it's kind of like, just the way it wears, I don't know. I'm, I'm not even making any sense anymore, but it's a great top. I love it a little too much. Okay, this is where I rectify the fact that I never put this in a favorites and I totally meant to all the way back in, I think it was October, I picked this up. It is the Old Navy, I think it's called the Funnel Coat. I have it in this beautiful brown color. I just looked and it was on sale and still available. I hope it is still available when this goes live. I got it for like 50 something dollars. It's very similar to the J Crew Funnel Coat that's like $300. It doesn't have a hood, 
but it's a beautiful, well-made coat with a zipper, nice pockets. I bought this in October last minute when we went to see a football game at Ole Miss and the temperature dropped like 30 degrees and I needed something. I ran into Old Navy, I got this coat, and honestly, when it's chilly out, this is the coat I grab. Okay, this is the standout set of the year for me. I felt and feel just so, I feel like an old Hollywood movie star as I'm walking around my house by myself in this outfit. It is a loungewear set, kind of. It's a cashmere cotton blend. It is from Chico's. There's a whole bunch of pieces in this line. It's from the Zenergy line. They make a whole bunch of cashmere cotton blend. I picked out the um, cowl neck, and you see here, instead of joggers, I went with pants that have sort of a slit up the side. Gives a little movement. It has pockets. It still has a drawstring waist. It absolutely feels like you're wearing sweatpants. There is a jogger version if you prefer that. There's a crew neck version of the top if you prefer that. There's a whole bunch of pieces in their Zenergy Cashmere Blend collection. If you don't like camel, there are a bunch of other colors, white, black, I think red. I just felt really, really cool wearing this. Again, you can of course purchase at full price, but definitely check the sales because they have them in the sales quite often. And then the last clothing favorite of 2020 is the Walmart heart sweater. This is the newest one I haven't even shown you yet. It's the navy with white and red hearts. I just picked up one in pink with white hearts that you've seen. The original one I bought, I think I bought it in 2019 even, was it's a light gray with white hearts. I always size up one in the time and true sweater, so I'm wearing mine in a medium. They're just the perfect weight. It's a cotton blend sweater. They wear well, they layer under things. The price point is, in, they're 15 bucks. Like, how do you beat this? You cannot beat this. So definitely, possibly one of the standout pieces for years, but if you are still turning your nose up at Walmart fashion, I am telling you, you do not know what you are missing. They have been putting out some excellent quality pieces in the last, at least the last couple of years, and it looks like it's only getting better. I talked too long, so I'm gonna race through accessories instead of making it a separate video. So number one, standout accessory brand, definitely Kendra Scott. I'm a Kendra Scott ambassador. I've been a Kendra Scott fan for years. Having the two come together is a dream come true. So many pieces, too many to name. I'm gonna link my Kendra Scott collection video up there somewhere so you can check it out. But I'd say the number one most loved from all of you was anything from the Love Knot collection. I'm wearing the rose gold option. And then for me, the standout piece on a personal note was from her fine jewelry collection is the Star of David um, pendant with diamonds and 14 karat gold. Next, shoes. These are amazing. Dr. Scholl's slip-on sneakers. I wear them with socks, without socks. I've worn them all over the, not the world, but all over the country. I love them. You need to try these. They're, love them. On another note, Different price point, these metallic slip-on sneakers from Walmart. I actually just got a message from one of you just as I was about to film this, telling me that you just found me on Instagram today. You saw that I recommended these. You placed uh, an order for delivery from Walmart and um, an older couple showed up personally to hand deliver these to you from Walmart. And you were so excited to not only get your delivery same day, but see that your order is employing people of all ages and means in your area. And I just, that was very heartwarming. But that aside, these are incredible. I love them and apparently many of you do as well. Favorite sunglasses have to be the Diff Cruise Aviators. I have them in pink. I have them in this brown gradient. I have them in blue. I'll probably get more. I love the price point. I love the shape. I love the weight. And they are nowhere near the price point of Ray-Bans. Next, okay, now this is expensive, but has to be a standout fave for me, the Chloe Faye shoulder bag. I don't get a luxury bag every year, so this is definitely gonna be a favorite. I've talked a lot about this. I'm gonna talk a lot more about this, so we're gonna just set her down. But before we do, actually, another standout fave are bag straps, specifically the ones from Social Threads. I have quite a few, and they really changed up my bag game. Like I said, like I have them sitting on my Chloe, I have one on my Balenciaga. I use one on my Louis Vuitton Speedies. I actually put one on my Louis Vuitton Neverfull to make it a crossbody. They're $39. They come in so many colors. They're constantly coming out with more. I love them. You can put them with any kind of bag you want. We couldn't have a favorites video without talking about headbands. Headbands were the standout hair accessory. And the Amazon ones, these knotted ones, I have them in patterns. I have them in silk. Here's another pattern one. 
They just helped dress you up when you when we were all kind of feeling really blah March through June, especially when we just had our hair up all the time. It makes it look like you've tried. So still loving the headbands. Hats were definitely big this year, probably because many of us tried to go as long as possible between washing our hair. And the two standouts, the summer hat would be this rollout hat, specifically from the San Diego company. Now a friend of mine gifted me this, so she had it monogrammed for me. But what I love is if you were to go somewhere or even for storing it, it's Velcro. So you can roll it up and secure it with these loops and it gets really tiny and it's easily packable. And then on the other side, wool hats made a big splash this year. They're constantly going in and out of stock. So I'll link to a few favorites, but I felt so cool in this. And I love the ones that have an adjustable sort of um, on the inside so you can make it fit your head. I picked up this one during the anniversary sale. I don't think this exact one is still available, but I have seen some great ones restocked at Nordstrom and on Amazon, so I'll link those below. The other standout bag of the year, one of my absolute favorites is the MZ Wallace Max 2 Tote. This is my go-to travel bag, and when I'm not traveling, it folds up super tiny, which I absolutely love. I'll link the video around there that I did on that whole bag so you can see more about it. And then next, we have to talk about this watch band for my Apple Watch. This is probably maybe my number one most sold product of 2020, one of my personal favorites. Very budget friendly, got it on Amazon. If pink is not your thing, I think it comes in like 30 colors. So many, many options and different sizes for the different options in Apple Watches. And then let's end the fashion favorites with the real footwear that were the absolute favorites. Start it off because it was warm with these. These are the like crisscross open-toed fuzzy slippers. They're currently trending on Amazon. So apparently we're still loving wearing our slippers. Then as things cooled down, we segued into the closed toed option. So I started actually with these. Um, they're $24.99, it's a great price. I have mine in the size medium, I wear a size seven. And then I gifted myself another pair in gray, which is actually what I have on my feet right now. I just took this off to show you. But I mean, let's be real, most of us are still not leaving the house very often. And so the shoe wear that we reach for is a slipper. Well, those are my fashion favorites from 2020. I'd love to know if any of these made their way to your house as well. If not, list some of your other fashion favorites. And I'd love to know what you're looking forward to wearing in 2021. Any trends that have caught your eye? Or do you just want to wear something that's not a sweatsuit? Just, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Hope you got your workout in while watching this very long video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.